On February 4th, the PinePhone developer, AY, sorry, I'm butchering your name, uh, he announced Debian plus Fosh on the PinePhone forum, which is a build of Debian with Fosh and some Linux applications. It worked exclusively on the PinePhone and used the Fosh desktop environment. There were not any special repositories or packages, and the bootloader and kernel were, quote, binary squeezed onto the image, end quote. After around three months on May 14th, the Debian plus Fosh team announced Mobian. Mobian was still Debian with Fosh, but it had a custom repo and had some changes under the hood in order to make Mobian easier to port to new devices. Right now, Mobian only supports the Pine Phone, but in the future, they would like to port it to the Pine Tab and the Librem 5. Thanks to AY for answering some questions I had about the history of Mobian, although sorry I'm butchering your name. Installing Mobian is very easy. Just download the image file and plug in the microSD card using either a microSD card to regular sized SD card adapter or a microSD card to USB adapter, which is what I'm going to be using, and then flash it using something like Bolina Etcher. If you want to flash it to the AMMC, it's a little bit harder. First, you have to download the jump drive image, flash that to your microSD card, insert the microSD card into your Pine phone, plug in your Pine phone to your computer, and boot your Pine phone, and that will boot the jump drive image, which will give your computer access to both the SD card and the AMMC. Then you can flash Mobi into the AMMC using Bolina Etcher, or whatever your favorite image writing program is. You may need to use a tool such as Gparted to expand the partition to be more than 16 gigabytes if your micro, micro SD card is bigger than 16 gigabytes. Mobian is using the Bosch desktop environment. Bosch is a shell that uses GDK applications instead of Qt applications like Plasma Mobile and Lomary. Its UI is really simple to navigate. You go to the overview, click on the arrow button on the bottom, and the overview will list your open apps on the top, so, sort of like a to switch between them, like an Android and stuff, as well as all your installed apps under it. If you tap on the status bar on the top, it will also bring down a notification center-like panel, although I think I'd like it better if you swipe down, because sometimes I accidentally tap the top if I'm trying to access the header bar on the top of a GNOME app. Given that Fosh takes advantage of the GNOME ecosystem significantly, most of the apps follow the GNOME human design guidelines. Uh, so basically, all apps have a similar design. If you use Fosh with exclusively GNOME apps, then the experience in terms of design is actually better, in my opinion, than iOS. Mobian comes with a lot of pre-installed apps out of the box. It ships with everything you might need out of the box, but there's a couple pre-installed apps that are very similar to each other. For example, Mobian ships with both GNOME Web and Firefox, which means there are two pre-installed web browsers, and Mobian ships with Purism's messaging app, Fractal, and Telegram, which means there are three different messaging apps. Most GDK apps will run flawlessly on Mobian, although some apps are a little bit slow because they are made for the Librem 5, which is a device with way better specs than the PinePhone. Qt apps also run surprisingly well on Mobian, despite using Fosh as a DE. One issue of Mobian is the fact that if you need to install Flatpak, like I needed to install Flatpak for peer maps, Flatpaks take forever to install. It took me almost 40 minutes just to download and install peer maps off of Flathub, so adding Flatpaks can be a pain. Like on PostMarket OS, the web browser experience needs to improve. Both GNOME Web and Firefox are very slow, and especially on GNOME Web, scrolling is very choppy. Although Firefox is slow, Firefox seems to crash less on Mobian than it does on PostMarket OS, and the UI adapts slightly better to mobile on Mobian because it puts the extra buttons in a menu instead of just cutting them off. So Firefox is slightly better on Mobian than it is on PostMarket OS, but it still sucks. Overall, web browsing isn't great on Mobian, but it is slightly better than PostMarket OS. Mobian has a semi-active matrix channel, but that's the only community space for Mobian other than GitLab and the Mobian wiki. Mobian's matrix is decently active, but it does not compare to the likes of PostMarket OS and the Ubuntu Touch communities. In conclusion, Mobian is a great choice for those who want Debian on the Pine phone and a great choice for people who want to try out Fosh. It's still a bit buggy with Fosh, but not nearly as buggy as some of the other Fosh OSs I've tried.
Overall, check out Mobian. It is a very good OS. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Uh, thanks to those who tip on LBRY as well as patrons, Michelle Vantino, Sam Covet, Jim Peter, Jonathan Reynolds, Carl Schneider, and Ashton Snap. Uh, those are the ones who donate $5 or more, so thank you, and goodbye!